Hi everybody, it's Demi from Demi So Natural and I am coming to you with my favorite wash day combo, at least today. Like right now, this is the wash day combo that I'm feeling. So before we get into it, let's get into this intro and I'll be back. So before we get into all of that, first thing I want you to do is subscribe, honey. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so every time I upload, you'll know when I got a video coming. And then second, are you following me on Instagram? I'm at Instagram at Demi So Natural, and I'm also on TikTok on Demi So Natural, okay? So after you subscribe to all them places, honey, I'll meet you right back here. Bye. Do not pass go. Okay. So, why why do you open the door? Huh? Okay. This wash day consists of a few products. Um, one of them is the Afro Sheen Velvet Flow Four in One Leave In. Um, as my like moisturizer, I'm using the Green Apple and Aloe Hold Me Down Gel by Talia Wahi. And my favorite gel styler, which is the Wet Lime Extreme Gel, okay? So that is my wash day combo, my favorite wash day combo. So um, what I usually do is I divide my hair in a few sections. I have Clips, rubber bands, child, it's probably gonna be ghetto. <laughs> ghetto! <laughs> ghetto! <laughs> and that's fine. Um, and I'm gonna take this bag off. Today's bag is Benny's. <laughs> they got good bags, y'all. Good thick bags. They, better than Target. And Target really is my favorite bag to put on my head. I don't be buying them plastic bags and I can just use these bags. Okay, put them to get good use. You probably got them in your closet anyway. All right, so let's take it down. And I have my um, spray aloe mix. This is aloe and water, tea tree oil, and rosemary oil. That's what I have in there. So that's my water mix. Okay, so I have this section is the section that I'm going to work with and I'm going to divide this section into smaller section. And child, and if you don't see watch and go videos, I'm sure you probably know how this probably goes. At least for me anyway, child, because I watch, I don't know how many wash and go videos. All right, I'm going to spray this section a little bit with a little bit of water, my water mix, a little bit of this, my leave-in. I guess y'all say I already have a leave-in. Yeah, I'm doing the double leave-in. I just, I just like this stuff. It's some good stuff. I'm going to add the apple and the aloe. About this much. I'm a little heavy handed of course. I'm gonna rake it through. And you see it already has pretty good definition. But this alone does not hold my curls. It's the gel. It's all in the gel. And that's what this is for. As y'all can see, I've used plenty. This is my this is my jam. This is paid. Okay. How about 
that much, which is a good amount for this section. Put some on my root, and I go through and finger shingle the section. Now I don't always do this; it just depends on how I feel. As as far as finger shingling is concerned, sometimes I don't finger shingle. Sometimes I use a dimming brush. Sometimes I use a rat tail comb. Sometimes I just use my fingers and just rake it through. But it just depends on how I feel. Now I found that I get, I do get the best definition from finger shingling. So I'm gonna go on to the next section and just do it again. I'm gonna wet it. Because believe it or not, my hair is already getting dry. I have low porosity hair. So, it doesn't take in moisture. Or it, and it dries very easily. It's almost like I have to rub, rub the water in. Ain't that crazy? A little bigger amount because it's a bigger section. I think I'm grabbing some of this here. It's okay. We can get a double. Sticks and stones may break my bones But your words can't hurt me No, you just can't hurt me No, I ain't been right More than I've been wrong And it still can't hurt me No, it just can't hurt me No No, you just can't hurt me Okay, so I have all my product in and y'all, it is nine o'clock at night for me here in Illinois. So what I'm gonna do, I'm, I don't like to go to bed with a wet head. So I'm going to sit under the dryer, let my hair dry. And probably when I come back to you, it'll be the morning. I'll probably be getting ready for work. So hopefully I can record this in the morning. Um, I usually stretch my hair out. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. So, and I just want to show you how much hair um, came out during this process. And that's not including detangling when I wash my hair, but that was how much hair came out. Y'all see my little grays in there? Child, they ain't little, they bold. They bold as I don't know what. All up on the front porch and stuff. All right, so. I'll be back. Morning. All right, good morning, everybody. As you can see, 
it is morning and I got my blow dryer, I got some rubber bands, and I got some clips and I'm getting ready to get started to do this process of blowing it out, child. I kind of half did my pineapple, so um, that's why it was looking like that in the morning. So I'm using an oil mixture that I got from I'm a company I'm not going to name at this time. And I got my leave-in conditioner, and I like to put a little bit of oil, rub it in my hands, and put it throughout my hair, just to kind of get some of the gel crunch out of my head. No, it just can't hurt me, no. No, you just can't hurt me. No, you just can't hurt me, no, no, no. So I am, here I'm going to just divide my hair into some sections. Um, there's really no rhyme and reason, child. I do it probably different every time that I do it. And then to um, each section, I'm going to use my leave-in conditioner um, throughout my head. So when I use my blow dryer, I usually put it on warm and high those are my settings so i'm like mouthing it so i can remember to say that i'm putting it on uh, warm and high but that's usually how i do it um the um, temperature is warm and um, the strength is usually high y'all see them gray hairs back there stunting on you okay stunting Okay, so I am all done. It's a little bit on the frizzy side, but it's not too bad. Nothing that a little bit of edge control won't take care of. And I'm gonna turn around so you can see the back. And you can see these gray hairs, honey. Yes, yes ma'am. Good and gray. All right, everybody. So my hair is finished. And I mean, it's still a little crunchy in parts, but I just wanted to blow it, you know, blow some of the gel cast out. It doesn't necessarily have to be all of it. Um, because it'll loosen as the time, you know, goes by. So with that being said, thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking on this channel and I appreciate you so much. And if you haven't already subscribe, become a part of my tribe. I really appreciate you. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you on my next video. Have a great day guys. Bye.